To create spline-driven PCG volumes in Unreal Engine, first, come to your plugins, search for PCG, and enable the procedural content generation framework. You may have to restart your editor once that's done. Head back to your main level, and we gotta create a new blueprint class. We'll choose of type actor, and let's give it a name like BP underscore spline pathways. Then open up that blueprint, and we have to add a single component called spline. With that done, we can compile and save. Head back to our level, and then right click, go to PCG, select PCG graph, give it a name, I'll call mine PCG Forest. Then we can double click. And before we start editing, let's go ahead and add it to our world. So we'll drag it in our scene and it creates this little volume box, which is perfect. Let's actually populate a forest now. We can right click, get the landscape data. From there, we can surface sample the actual um, landscape data. And then for the points per square meter, I'm gonna bump that to a 0.2 and I'll lower the extents to 50, 50, 100. And then I can pull off into a transform points. And then we'll add some adjustments. I'm gonna add a negative 50 offset. I'll add a rotation of zero to 359 degrees and a scale of one to two, just to give a little bit of variety. And then I'm gonna drag into the static mesh spawner. And then I'm gonna add a mesh entry. Uh, you can add as many as you want. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna add a single tree. And then with that, we can go back to our scene and we have a densely populated little forest here. And now let's go ahead and carve out a path using the spline. If we add our spline to the scene, I can zoom in, find the little endpoint and grab it. And then if I zoom out, I can just pull it across and it creates our spline. Now let's add it to the graph. We can simply right click, get spline data. With it selected, we'll change the filter from self to all world actors. We'll change the selection from tag to class. And then we just have to select the blueprint we created just a little bit ago. Mine was called spline pathways. With that selected, we can do a spline sampler. For the sampler, I'm gonna switch the mode from subdivision to distance, and I'll lower the distance threshold or increment to 50. And then I'll pull into an extents modifier. And the extents I'm gonna be using is uh, in the Y and the Z. I'll do 200. Uh, the X I'm gonna leave at one, and the mode I'm gonna to set to multiply. Then I can come into a difference node. We'll hook up the extents into the difference and the transform points into the source and then we're gonna replace the node for the static mesh. So it basically subtracts the two. With that done, if we go back, we should now see we have a little path. You can right click anywhere uh, in your spline and add a spline point, and then you can move it around. You can select the handles and adjust the handles to get different shapes, and you can add as many spline points as you want, and then you can even duplicate the spline points and get all sorts of interesting shapes. And just like that, you've created a spline-driven PCG volume in Unreal Engine.